Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Okay. Yeah, good morning. So tomorrow, uh, uh, sorry, not tomorrow. Yesterday we did a. Yesterday we did a numerical, na? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. So did you do the numerical? I guess some yes, of you. Yes, sir. Some of you have done. Yes, some sir. Done. Yes, sir. Okay. So the answer is five hundred nineteen point one six newton meter. Did you get the answer? Five hundred nineteen point six newton meter. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Has got the answer. Yes, sir. Mm. What about others? Two, sir. Hey, mother, you got? Yes, sir. Uh, good. So what I am asking you to do is, what about others? Yeah, I am asking everyone. What about others? Did you do the numerical? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you do the numerical? Yes, sir. So, so uh, only one said yes. Rest, I don't think so. They have done. What answer did you get, Vidya Sagar? Done. What answer did you get? Just write in the chat box. Is it matching with mine? Are you able to see the numerical? Are you able to see the numerical students? Sir. Sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, did you get the question? This is the question, na? Yes, sir. So, this is how it is done. So, if anyone has not done, you can just note it down how it is being done. Do I need to explain it to you? Anyone, do you need explanation of this numerical? Sir. Huh? Yes, Valentina. I didn't attend the class, so please explain it. You do not attend the class, so I have to explain it again. But only this part. No? Nah? So only this question. This question? Okay. Listen now. So what is given in this question? A force of 200 Newton. So this is the force P, 200 Newton. It is acting at a point B. It is acting at a point B. So this is what? This is the point B. Okay, so this force is acting at this point. So we have to determine what? Determine the moment of the force about O. Now look, we have discussed the moment of force is force into what? Perpendicular distance, right? 
if force into perpendicular distance between so what happens now look we have to find out this is the force and this is the distance given right so now this is the distance given now look from this point okay from this point this force is inclined at an angle of what 60 degree right now look the perpendicular distance should be the distance between point o that means this point this point and the and the line of action of this that means what we have to measure this distance for the perpendicular so for measuring the distance of this perpendicular how you can measure you know this one is 3 na? now if you know this 3 and this is what this is ob so ob is this 3 now if we have to know the cos theta component of something we all know like this, no? We you know like this. If something is like this, now if this is F, suppose. So this is what? This is F. Cos theta. Yes or no? If this is theta, if this is theta, then this is f cos theta, and here it will be f sin theta. Now look here, this is suppose f, ah, this is f, so ob is f. Now ob cos theta, ob cos 60 will get you this distance, no? Om, you will get this distance. That's it, as simple as that. So, if you take this cos theta component, or you can just note, note it like this. Cos theta is what? Cos theta is equal to what? Anyone tell me cos, what is cos theta? Yeah, no one is there. Inside the hypotenuse. Base by perpendicular. Base by perpendicular. Base by hypotenuse. Base by hypotenuse. Why? Where is Valentina? She asked me the question, na? She disappeared or what? No, sir, I'm there. So cos theta is what? Base by hypotenuse, right? So yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So that means what? O M. So that is why we got O M. That means O M is equal to O B cos theta. Simple. Okay. So O M equal to O B cos theta. And eventually we put this answer like this. P is given here 200. So this cos theta we know. So this is like this. And get the answer like this here everyone if anyone is having problems with the mic please mute your mic okay there are lots of noise coming so let us go to the next numerical today valentina is it clear
पेनल्टी ना इजी प्लेयर Yeah, is it clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For me, it's yes, sir. Okay, fine. No one is responding. Let others sleep. Someone is leaving and joining the meeting. That's what they are doing. Okay. So, write the next question. A force of... Write this question. A force of 200 Newton acting at a point B. A force of 200 Newton is acting at a point B of a lever AB. Are you able to see the question? Yes, sir. I think. Okay. Ah. Good, good. You should write it actually. Uh, because I will give you the PDFs. Then I will understand who is taking part in the class. If you don't write, I won't give the PDFs. I'm telling you. Everyone. If you don't write, there's of no use. A force of 200 Newton is acting at a point B of a lever. Look. A for acting at a point B, right? So what is point B? This is the point B. Okay. This is the lever AB and this is the hinge part. So what you have to do is you have to find out the moment of the force about the hinge end. So how will you find the moment about the force about the hinge end? Yeah, if you are done writing, I'm sorry, tell me okay. I'm sorry another. is over sir oh yeah oh yeah yes sir. and draw the diagram also huh? everyone i'm telling you oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah okay sir oh yeah no, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. no okay wait i'm waiting you can just draw it oh.
<coughs> Finish. Finish. Have you done the diagram? Yes, okay. Yes, sir. Good. So, what is this? Look. If you pay attention now, what we need to find out is this is not the method, okay? Do not copy the answer. Can all of you try? Not this is not this is the method that we will do. We will do it later on. Okay, this is a bit more complicated. So can you try out solving? Any idea how to solve? Students, any idea how to solve? Can anyone say anything? How will you solve this? So which one is the same? Uh -huh. What? M B O P perpendicular to Tumhara voice clear nahi aa raha hai mai chuba. Wo chat pe likh ke de do. Theek hai? Mai chuba are you hearing me? Write in the chat. I'll have a note of it. What am? Mechuba? Perpendicular to A for force is the perpendicular distance between point ah. A and the line of action of force. Ah. What's about Nijuba B into A? M do conference. Atmarat or a thick hair, I'm to Hamlook Yaka and give a hair. Look, look at it. Huh? How will you do it? Now look, this is B now. Yes or no? So now if this is B, yes, sir. this B will have what? This B will have one side here, X component. That means X. <coughs> this one is how much? This one is 200, no? So here it will be 200. 100. So if this is 200. Yes, sir. So this side it will be what? This side will be? This side will be, I'm writing it here, 200 cos 60. Yes or no? Yes or no? 60. Okay. Yes, sir. 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 Okay. So after that, we have got the force only, huh? Force in x direction, right? Force in x direction. This is 200. Now, similarly, what will be in y direction? Can you tell me the expression for y? What will be the force? 200 sine 200 sine 60 degree. Very good. Very good. Good. Very good. Very good. Good. So now. <clears throat> If we know this side will be what? I'm just writing it down. So this side will be 200 sine 60, right? So if this side will be sine 60, so you got the forces in both sides. Yes or no? Yes or no? You got the force? Yeah. Now what will happen? Yeah. Look. 
So we got up to these two steps. So we'll do this method, alternative method, okay? So look, we have got up to this one and we have got this one. Yes or no? Now, we all know, now you can write this one huh, as a note. Just write a note. Just write a note and write this line. Write this part. That from very non theorem, moment of a given force about a specified point is equal to what? Sum of the moments of its components about that point. So now we will find out the individual moments. So now what happens? Look. If we have got Px, Px means what? This will let us think is f of x. Okay. And here let us make it work. f of y okay so f of x and f of y are different right so if f of x and f of y are different then we can find out the moment about x f of x what 100 so this one is 100 no now if you look at this diagram if you look at this diagram just pay attention now we are getting this component as x component and this component and okay this is the x component and this is the what y component right right yes sir so how did we do that now look so if we got the x component like this so here it will be x and here it will be y right now look if we got this in x, p of x equal how much? It came out to be 100, no? Two. If it came out to be 100, so force, what is moment? Look, now this is the force. Now, this, the, this distance cannot be the perpendicular, but this is the perpendicular distance, right? 0 0.4 meter to A. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. So this is the force. This is the force in x direction. And this is the perpendicular distance, right? So if this is the perpendicular distance, so what happens? If this is the perpendicular distance, then this is the perpendicular distance. This is um, this comes out so to be how much? 0 0.4 meter, no? So what we did was? 4 meter. So this one is f of x. So force into perpendicular distance. Similarly here, look. Here we have got what? This is the sine theta component, no? Sine theta component. So f sine theta. So if this is f sin theta, then what happens? This is the perpendicular distance, no? So how much is this? This is 3 meter. So the force component in x and y comes out to be like this. So it is like this. So we got this. Now look for the minus sign. But here it is given, look, force is equal to the sum of the moments, no? So why the minus sign? Look. This is only because of the direction. Here we have one, and here we have one. So now, if you find out, this one, here it is cos theta is fine, but sin theta is what? <coughs> It is going out now. So if it, it is considered to be minus, okay. 
the sin theta component is considered to be minus. So that is why we got this answer. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Is it over? Yes, sir. No, sir. Minus. Yes, sir. Um, about the minus sign. Hello. 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 So can you can you repeat one second about the minus sign? Okay, I'll say it. Wait. Look, have a look at it. Now, If you say it here, <coughs> suppose this is the cos theta component. Okay. So this is the cos theta component, and what is this? This is the sin theta component. Okay. Now, now if you see here. Now here, for this part, this is in this direction, right? Force is in direction, in this direction, right? So now force into perpendicular distance. That means this distance into this side. So this is the moment in this direction. And for the cos theta component, it will be in this side right so now if you see here if you see here just pay attention i'm give i'm explaining to you in a other way okay look this is the arrow now if if you have to come to this side you have to come to the left side now yes or no yes or no this is it is uh, now just pay attention this is i'm trying to explain it to you in another way so you have to come in this direction right that means what this is the left side of the arrow right and here if you see here look if you see here this is the which side of the arrow like if you rotate it rotate your screen and see it this will be the right side of the arrow no? But this will be the left side of the head. Yes or no? Yes or no? So what happens? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, so, yes, sir. Uh, if this is the left side, so look, if the directions are opposite, uh, if the directions are opposite, then what you'll have to do? You have to consider one as positive and the other as negative. As simple as that. Now here, the sine theta component that means this is the sign now so this sine theta is in the left side i mean if you find out the moment you have to come to the right left side so this is considered as negative so we have got minus 173.2 and here look this is the right side we have to go here now down so this is considered as positive so we have got this as what positive is it clear now is it clear now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, who asked me? Someone asked me, no? Someone yes, sir. It's clear. Uh, is it clear? Okay, you got Yes, it. sir. Just, yes, sir. Just think of the direction, okay? Yes. Yeah. Timo, just think of the yes, direction, sir. then you will get it. Okay? So, now look. <clears throat> yes, sir. This is what we have got the answer. Right? Minus 11.96. Now, look. Since it is the answer is overall minus, since the answer is minus, 
that means what the resultant moment will be in the opposite direction that is why we have considered as anti clockwise just remember it clockwise is positive and anti clockwise is what negative that is why we are writing it as anti clockwise clear is it clear yes sir good so now what you do is have you written the question and the answer students have you written down the question and sir. the solution sir no only the question you, you want to you did you remember the solution or you want to write it i think it's okay sir Still bit, okay sir. you take a screenshot of it then you can remember it na no? Ah, take a screenshot of it, you can remember it then. Just take this diagram also, then you won't be able, or else you won't be able to understand this diagram. Okay. Okay. So shall I close this? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. You can. Yeah. Now let us go to our other topic now. scalar product of two vectors and its applications so what is a scalar product and of two vectors and its application this is simple now here it is p and q this is p this is p and this is what q So these are what? These are two vectors. Now, if you do scalar product, that means what? It will be as a dot. You can see a dot here, I guess. So it will be as dot. So if it is scalar product, and if you do is dot, then it is cos theta. Okay. So now look. This is the p vector. Now, if p is there, so we have to this. Distribute the vector into three parts: p x i, p x z, and p x k. Similarly, we have distributed q into three parts. That means in three dimensions. Okay. So that similarly q x i, q x q y z, and q z k. Now look. <coughs> if we have to find out pq pq is what pq cos theta p dot q okay so now and cos theta is given by this expression so that is how, this is how we do the projection of the vector Okay, so this is a simple thing. Just remember the expressions. Okay, the numericals are much more important. So how projection of vector along the direction? So P O L angle P P. This is the center point O. So along the direction OL, the projection is P C cos theta. So this is how we project a vector. So, yeah. We have to do this numerical. Just do one thing. We'll discuss this numerical now. We have. Okay, let me discuss this numerical today. So we'll solve it. Try to solve it in the next class or something like that. Look, uh, this is what. Uh, 
a single force PC Single force P. A single force P. Are you able to see this, students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A single force P. So this is the force P. Okay? So this is the force P. It is acting at C in R direction, perpendicular to the handle BC. Now it is acting at C. And it is, this is the handle, no? So this is the handle. This is perpendicular to the handle. Now, knowing that Mx, huh? Mx is equal to 20 Newton meter. My is equal to minus, in the x, x side, it is moment at x equal to 20 Newton meter. And moment in y is equal to minus 8.75 newton meter and moment at z equal to 30 newton meter. So from that moment you have to this time determine what the magnitude of P. P means what is the force, the single force and the angle at which the force is acting. Okay. So what you can do is you can I'll just write the question in the chat. Okay, I'm just copying it. Let me see. And if you just draw the diagram, okay. So we'll do it in the next year, okay. Uh, this one, I have to try doing it today. If you can't, we'll discuss in the next year. Just simply draw a diagram. Can you draw it, students? Or take a screenshot, whatever you want. I've given the question in the chat box. Just check it out. Is it okay? Are you able to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Mm. Yes, sir. So this is hundred, okay? This is 100 mm, this is 150 mm, this is 200 mm. You just try to solve it, okay? If you can't, this will be a difficult sum. Ah, this is a difficult sum. I know it might be not, it might not be possible for you. Then we can discuss in the next class, okay? Well, no, I'm not asking you to give the attendance, no? Hemchandra Poonam, Paunam. Did you understand Hemchandra Paunam? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, uh? Did you attend the class? Yes. Uh, did you write a question and uh, this numerical, did you understand? I am copying that. Okay, okay. You don't need to copy it, just take a screenshot. It will be easy for you only. Okay. Yeah, just give your attendance in the chat box, everyone. This call, is it over now?
Yes, sir. Yeah.